Yeah, so this has definitely changed in here really, really big time. I'm in this little room here. I used to do my breastfeeding support counselling on a Friday morning, help your mums and stuff, and I really, really, really enjoy it. Now my wheels in motion and my windows open with the wind blowing in my head. I'm driving down. everyone and welcome to Tuesday how are we all doing today yeah so it's not too bad out here actually nice the sun isn't out yet it's a bit of a breeze but you can definitely feel it is getting warmer um, and let's all keep on about this heat for the weekend which I'm really really not looking forward to fingers crossed it doesn't come off but again if it does it's one of those things just has to keep an arm bent we have actually got a day planned out for Sunday but all depends on what the boys are doing. We feel it's too hot. We're not going to go out at all. It's, it's just not fair, Ben, because Ben wants to tolerate the heat. Last night, um, we had a super bad night with him. He was, was, we got to about half eight, quarter to nine. He was bang on the side of his head here. I think because he was just got so hot, so sweaty, and he was tired as well. He just didn't know what to do with himself, basically. So he put the phone in his room, and that really, really sold him. We think he actually enjoyed it. And even this morning, bless him, he went up to the fan in the living room and started putting that, hitting that. So I put it on for him, and he was just laying down there in front of the fan. He looked so comfortable when we did that this morning. Anyway, like I said, yeah, they've gone off to school absolutely fine. They've got sports day this morning. Uh, a bit disappointed because parents can't go and see it. Normally, parents are allowed, but I think because obviously they're still using the COVID restrictions and stuff. So I know they said they're going to send home video footage and also photos, but it just isn't the same, is it really? But, oh well, it's one of those things that just can't be helped. Anyway, yeah, so anyway, well, it's nice and cool this morning. I'm just going to get a few jobs done um, outside what I need to get done. And then hopefully then when it gets warm a bit later on, we can just chill out at home, relax. Because again, is that what I find there? This heat makes you feel so, so sleepy, it really does. But we have, like I said, first job for me at the minute is popping to the doctor's, put uh, descriptions in for mine and Ben's medication. Over the last couple of weeks, we've had issues getting bits and pieces of Ben's medicine. With us going away, I'd rather make sure we've got enough. And then we haven't got to worry about when we come back and stuff about having to find noise beds. So, yeah, and that should be ready then probably next Wednesday, Thursday to pick up. And then, and then I know definitely we've got enough then. So, and obviously then I need to pop into Tesco's. Yeah, so just in Tesco's now, and you can see they've got some of their club card offers. And the Monster Munch Giants are only £1.50 with a club card offer. And they've got both flavours, roast beef and pickled onion. And these, what are these, £1.25? These biscuits are supposed to be really nice. And even the chocolates are only an offer for £1.50. So, Jeffa cakes, £1.25. And even the Pepsi Max, cherry, and also the normal one, which is £3.50. I know it's only 50p, but you're definitely saving something. And also, got the big box of Coke down here for um, £1.80, which is £2.80. So you've got the caffeine free, the Diet Coke, and also the Zero, Pick Zero. Again, I think we've got some actually when we went shopping the other week. So, yes, I'll leave them. But anyway, good office there. Sometimes you have to check the office because sometimes they are really, really good. Anyway, yes, yeah, so I'm just walking up here now. I just need to get some milk. That's all. They haven't got many flowers here, have they? They look a bit ropey, they do those sunflowers. They really do. As you can see, it looks like they've got problems with their chillers. They've had chiller breakdowns. I suppose that's always the way this time of the year, isn't it? When the heat and stuff, they just can't cope with it, basically. As you can see, yeah, Ben's milk's on the off for £1.50 club card price. If I get him two of them, that should actually last him a couple of days. Let's get two of them for him. And then, some milk for us. I would say get... Um, two lots of milk just for to carry it. So I'll just get one lot for now. Um, I've got no 
it is quite scary. I always should look in here because sometimes it gets some really, really good offers. What are they? There's some treats and bite things. I don't like them. Some mashed potatoes. Also, just seeing these little games. What's that one? Rapid day. I guess too slow. You lose some day. Oh, that's quite cool. I've heard that one before. It's got like a little. What's that one? Back of here. Let's have this one. Let's have a look. It's a yes, no. Okay, well, they're pretty cool, aren't they? Especially if, like, so going on flights and stuff with kids. So, and even on journeys for kids to do. Five second rule game. Who can remember playing Guess Who and also Connect Four? We did have a big, massive Connect Four in the garden, but again, it got damaged with some winds, with some of the strong winds and stuff. But yeah, £4.50. Not too bad, actually, are they, really? And even some of the classic Uno games. I remember playing that with my nan and my granddad, having loads and loads of fun with that. How much is that? Oh, seven pound. That's not too yeah, bad. So actually. just back out again now. I had a quick um, pit stop at home, put the milk away. Um, again, we've got rid of our milkman now. It's just costing us a fortune all the time. It started off okay. Obviously, the price kept rising and rising and rising. It worked out to be about nearly £35 a week for milk. I thought that's really expensive, especially when we can go to the shop and just pick it up. So yeah, we're saving ourselves about new £20 a week, believe it or not, which is really good. Obviously, we still drink loads and loads of milk. But anyway, yeah, and also, I'm just heading down to the library now, for, would you believe it or not, to try and get Ben a bus pass. It's something we've never, ever really thought about, because obviously we don't really use public transport. But apparently Ben's been in touch to this bus pass since he was little as well. Because obviously we had some information come through yesterday about his college courses doing in September. Now that seems crazy, Ben going to college, but it really, really does. And he's obviously going to be using a lot of public transport. They're going to teach him to try and be independent and stuff. And this is why they need the bus pass for him. And also apparently you can get one with a companion, like a carer's thing as well, like we do from the Merlin Passes. So obviously then, obviously his carer or his work will be able to go with him and stuff. So yeah, so I'm going to try and get this done. Got all some information in my bag. I'm not too quite sure what I needed. Got a couple of letters from the college, um, his delay letter, and also a letter from the doctors as well. So I hope, fingers crossed, that should be enough. Oh yeah, I've also got a photo of him on my phone as well. So yeah, if, like I said, it's been a good... I can't remember actually last time I went to the library. I know when Sammy was younger, we used to go to the library quite regularly. He used to... He used to love picking his books and reading them. I think that's where Sammy's got his love of books from. Because ever since he's been young, young, he's always loved reading. Even Ben's actually started to enjoy books as now. But obviously with Ben, he likes the sound books and the like, touchy feely books. So yeah, um, well, I can't believe they're knocking this down. Oh, there wasn't, see, see, there isn't much of this place left now. So obviously then the um, doctors used to be here, then they moved up to the hospital not too quite sure what they're doing. I think they're just knocking it down for houses, I think. So, again, I'd like to put a few more shops and stuff on here. But anyway, yeah, so I'll see you at the library in a minute. we changed in here really, really big time. I'm in this little room here. I used to do my breastfeeding support counselling on a Friday morning, help new mums and stuff. And I really, really, really enjoy it, doing it. Obviously, the um, short are not closed, so yeah. Anyway, so I haven't got a clue what I've got to do because obviously it's all changed and stuff around here. I think I've just probably got to go around here somewhere, I should imagine. And then they used to do all, like, all the books you could buy and all the DVDs and stuff, so I don't know if they still do that as well. Yeah, well, that was a complete waste of time. Went down to the library, obviously, I said I had all the proof I needed, and basically they need to see Ben for a photo even though i've got a photo on my phone they still need to see him basically and they don't do the companion bus passes anymore so i'm gonna have to get hold of school and see what they recommend see if there's a way we can do it through oxfordshire because i know oxfordshire still do it but northamptonshire don't so and obviously like i said he needs it for his college course as well so um yeah so a bit of a wasted walk down here, but then again, at least I managed to get some steps and get a bit of exercise and stuff. So, yeah, I don't understand why they can't do it. Because I'll see what I want to do. Is see if I can actually play online, see if I get any difference. Or even see if I can go to somewhere in Banbury, see if we can play for it that way. But then again, they'll say, oh, yeah, you've probably got a Northamptonshire postcode. 
So it's just annoying that the fact of the matter is everything for health-wise for Ben is that way as well. So, um, yeah, so anyway, I'm going to go home, have a drink, and then just have a relax now for a little bit. I don't want I need you to get done as well. And Stephen pointed out to me when he was talking to me on his break, there's a Liverpool game on this afternoon apparently as well, so he wants to watch that. So yes, I think today has turned into one of those days, to be honest with you. I obviously had the issue of getting Ben's bus pass this morning. Um, obviously Ben's travelling with her trampoline's just arrived as well, which is, it looks really good, doesn't it? Mm. It's a big massive plum, 14 foot one. We looked at actually replacing the poles and then the blue bit around needs replacing. Um, believe it or not, because Argos had a toy sale off run as well, it worked out <coughs> just putting an extra 50 quid towards the, the cost of the poles and the, the map would have been. It's got itself a brand new one, so Stephen wants to put that up before next Wednesday because obviously the kids finish next Wednesday. And again, yeah, this trampoline, I think it's just fit for the tip and it is a one. Yeah, I can't go on Thursday to the tip. Yeah, so yeah. I just can't believe how quickly he destroyed that one. It just goes to prove how cheaply made it was. It's 80 quid for those poles though. It's 80 quid for them. They're not, because he, he went them so easy. But this, with this plum one, he's never ever broke a plum trampoline, has he? Right. And he had his last one about five, six years, that one. In fact, so when we got him a bigger one, the, actual, the base of it actually breaks. That just goes to prove how much he used it. And not in it with the plum ones as well, the actual netting goes right over the poles and underneath, so you can't actually pull on netting and stuff like that. But yeah, he'll obviously love his new trampoline. But, yeah, anyway, so I was saying, um, we just like to get set down with some lunch. I got a phone call from school, can we can pick Sammy up? Sammy's not very well, apparently, he's been really sick everywhere. So, I don't know if he's coming down with a bug or the heat over the last couple of few days has finally caught up with him because that happens to Sammy, doesn't it? It does. He, once he gets to a certain heat, um, he'll just throw up everywhere. So, basically, I think it's got to the 48 hour rule. Um, so yes, I hope, fingers crossed, we can get all these bugs out of our systems ready for when we go away next Friday, which is scary, isn't it? Mm. We're really looking forward to it. So I hope, fingers crossed, it's, it's, <laughs> it's just a mixture of the heat and it's nothing too serious, sorry. So yeah, so we're just back now from picking Sammy up. And be honest with you, he's absolutely fine. He's come home, master some croissants and buttons and juice and stuff. So yeah, he's absolutely fine. Do you think school overreacted there slightly to be honest with you but then they break up next week so anyway when we were out we had a couple of packages delivered i know exactly what they are but i thought i'll show you what we actually got now these products here these ones here these have actually been gifted to us by mantra sleep mask they got in contact with us asking we like to try out one of their products they're new to the uk as well so yeah um we jumped at the chance so this is what we've actually got inside We've each got one of these eye cups. Yes, we've got four packs of these Max eye cups. It can maximum Manta model um, contains one set of eye cups compatible with Manta Sleep head straps sold separately. And then also on the back, it tells you you've got 100% blackout, extra deep, and wide cups, soft hypogenic fabric, in, 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 infinity adjustable tape and soft foam and zero eye pressure there and off here we've got one of the um sleep mask here so it's away from them all up and show you what they're like inside you can see it's well packaged and things like that so yeah basically you've got the velcro uh, eye mask here again they come off quite well so it's good which means you can actually adjust them or you can actually get different products as well you can tell what also it's they're really really soft and sometimes you can get a face mask quite hard and stuff like that but these are really really cotton fresh as well and then you've got like little logo on the front there and it's for here like the here's all quite velcro as well so you could actually alter it so you can have it nice and big like that or you can have it up here so it's really quite small as well like that so yes if i put take my glasses off i'll show you what i mean so yeah if i put it on the medium one for now like that. So then basically what you do is you get these eye cups to make sure they actually cover your eyes properly. Actually, I think I might be a bit too dark. I think I might need to come down a bit. Oh no, there you go. So that's what you can see. I don't know if you can see that very well, but my eyes are actually covered in my face mask. You can't actually see any natural light at all. Yeah. That's that one. So yes, really, really looking forward to using these. Also, a big thank you to Mantra Sleep Mask for letting us try these out. 
so yeah so um and also you can see in there it's got like a little hashtag that for his nat natural twin monthly prices snap um take a selfie if you're a natural sleep product upload it to instagram and you, if we email you get 20 percent off so yeah these got these are cool ice cups here these are ice multi for you, for your head eyes and the sign that says max eye cups they've got some warm ones there and also this here is actually weighted as well so yeah and also believe it or not when you have like sleep um like a sleep mask I don't know because i've never used them before but looking into the benefits it will really really definitely help me because sometimes i struggle to go to sleep like and i don't know if it's because obviously like with the blue lights and like your mobile phone like the blue filter because i have to admit i'm one of these people i take my mobile phone up to bed with me as well have all the lights on especially with the telly these with these they do is cut out all the natural light as well and also, I bet they boost your mood as well because obviously when you feel when you when you know you slept better, it makes you feel better inside as well. So yeah, so each got one of these. I'll give these a go so they like. And obviously, I also tend to get quite a lot of migraines when it comes to the time of the month, so to speak. So yeah, so when I get one of these, I'm just gonna give this a go because I do find my eyes hurt, and so these are actually good for tired eyes as well so yes i definitely gonna give these a go and if you like them we do they just so do do some different ranges as well so yeah really really nice and cotton soft it's also said about here good, good for sinus yellow um icy relief for your head eyes and sinuses so at the minute stephen is sinuses here all blocked up we're all really suffering so he's gonna put a couple of these on later on and see that really really helps him so yeah all the links uh be down below for the mantra i just want to say a big big thank you for them for letting us try these out Yes, also a little bit about these sleep masks is that our brains are hardwired into socializing darkness of sleep. Of course, that produces more melatonin, which is the sleepy hormone and stuff like that. So yeah, so they control our sleep and wake cycles. And obviously, when we have like the light, that's when I think uh, melatonin levels drop. And also, um, in addition to increased melatonin production, scientists also think dark sleeping conditions in increase to REM sleep and decrease wakefulness, meaning you're more likely to sleep, it means that you're more likely to sleep deeply to sleep through the night. And obviously, yeah, so yeah, so really, really looking forward to giving these a go. So obviously, like I said, it also helps in boost insomnia as now, because basically they trick, because the sleep masks actually trick your brain into thinking it's time for sleep, they're, they're non-risk as well, like some things like people take sleep medications and things like that. Um, it's, a, it's a cheaper way and a safer way to obviously um, try and try them out then basically. You know? Obviously they might not work, but like I said, really give these a go. So yeah, so really, really good. And like I said, go and check them out. So yeah, so this is my other package we had delivered. So you can see it's come from studio.co.uk. Obviously I bought these. These wasn't actually gifted or nothing like that. It's something we actually needed as well. And I've also got a little something for myself as well. So I thought, why not treat myself? So yeah, so if I open all up, I'll show you what I've actually got inside. As regular to our channel know, last week we all had that horrible sickness bug, so we ended up using loads and loads of towels and we threw half of them away to be honest with you. I washed them and they still didn't look right, so I just binned them. So yes, I ordered myself a couple of new towels. Um I thought these would be ideal as well, because we needed towels as well. They've gone a bit horrible stuff. So. But these, I thought, didn't actually need these, but I saw these. I thought these were good. These are supposed to be bath sheets, so we'll see how big they actually are being a bar sheet they're actually you can see actually they are quite a nice decent size actually to be honest with you yeah because obviously i know when we have to bath ben and things like that that'd be ideal for him so yes i've got a nice blue color i thought that'd be quite nice and they're really really soft Obviously, I'll probably give them a good old wash first, and then I'll probably take them with us when we go to Butlins. That'd be ideal when we go to Simmer. And I know they do provide the towels and stuff, but it's always nice to take your own, isn't it? And then this is actually treating myself to one of these. Let's actually see what this one is. I thought this would be perfect for when I go away as well. Look who's got on there. 
look it says love yourself and look who it is yep it's good old mini mouse isn't it so i do like that what size look oh yeah i got myself a size 12 to 14 yeah i got my rough, roughly size and then i can head off to primark's probably if we don't do it tomorrow head off there one day next week and just get last few bits and pieces for the boys i know that i'll find things I like from in there now this is actually a six piece towel bale so i'm not too quite sure what size these are like in here again i love the color i did want the blue one but i did have the blue one in so i went for the purple i do like purple anyway so yeah so see what size these are obviously again wash them all first and stuff so We'll have to see what sizes they are, shall we? Well, that's good. I've got like two little flannels. Is that size? Again, flannels in our house seem to go walkies. I we bought a, a whole load a couple of weeks ago, and they just seem to go. On. Don't know what's happened to them. That and socks always seem to go walkies. And then got a nice little. Is that a hand towel? Would you say that is? So that is a hand towel, so I've got two of those. Again, that'd be ideal. Put one down here, one up and throw it upstairs. Which is again the hand towel that size. And then obviously you've got like a little bath towel, I imagine this will be. Oh, it's not so big as the bath. No, I imagine that's slightly bigger than the hand towel. That'd be right for me when I'm washing my hair anyway. And obviously not so big as the bath sheets, something like that. But yeah, really impressed with those bath sheets. Didn't think them to be that big. And then finally, just got another towel, which is roughly the same, slightly bigger than the hand towel, but slightly, slightly big, bigger than the bath sheet. So yeah, really, really like these actually, really, really soft, soft. Because sometimes you can get towels that are quite hard, but they, hopefully, fingers crossed, they'll keep their softness after I've washed them. So yeah, that's what we brought. So yeah, you can see Ben is home from school. His teacher's email, he's had really fun at sports, hasn't he? He's really tried to join in, stuff like that. He's enjoyed um, bowling. I said, done bowling, canoeing, cricket, all sorts of sports and stuff, which he's really, really loved. So you can see he's just watching the last of the Liverpool games. So, yeah, Ben, you had a good day. Are you tired? You look all hot and sweaty, though, don't we? Yeah. Look how tanned up you are, aren't you? What do you want then, darling? Is she standing in your way? You can't see. Oh no, yeah, look, he's standing, look, he's standing right in front of the telly, so you can't watch. So Stephen can't watch. Ben, you're dropping your crisps all over the floor. Oh, Ben, something new's come for you today. Yeah, you'd have to find. Yeah, Ben, news come for you. Hit the woodwork three times. Not getting much out of just watching this game, this lay, bless him. What? My Hawaiian needs driving. Your Hawaiian needs driving. Look at you, you're absolutely fine, aren't you? You just fancied a couple of days off school, that's all you wanted, didn't you? Bless him. Since he's come in, he saw the football on. Yes, it even moved, has he? To stand up here watching it. Yes, Ben, football starts when? Two weeks? Three weeks? What? Yeah, quite easily. When they've got charity shields? Yeah. When we come back. When we come back? Yeah. Oh, that's not too bad then, is it? So, well, obviously it's too, well, not too bad, but it is to me. That means we're going to have to plan all of our days out and stuff around football games. <coughs> hey ben, that is why Mummy's grocery lines break for when you keep swimming around like that, doesn't it? Eh? <laughs> Look, have you done Mummy's rotary line? What have you done to it? Hey, what's well, the matter, You want some help getting on your trampoline? You want some help? Hey, you want some help? Get that cheeky smile. Yeah. Do some help getting on there, darling. Can you do it? Or do some help? Let me hold this for you then, because this is where you get stuck. Don't you? Hey, does it? You got your new one soon. I forget. And just think you can't break your poles on your new one either, which is good. So, when you get then, you getting on? Oh, well, yeah, I just wish I'd crawl on. A lot easier if you did, rather than climbing on. I don't know what you're looking at. Go on, then you get. Good boy. Then you get. Lift your leg up. Lift your leg up. Hang on, Ben, you got stuck. There's a good boy. That's better. You can have a bounce. 
obviously I do not like this trampoline again he has to be really supervised again because I can't believe how he's destroyed it I really really can't as you can see yep that's what he does to his poles just shears them off like that don't we then eh yeah what's just going through your head at the minute thinking I destroyed my trampoline haven't ya crazy Hey Ben! Yes. What's got your attention over here? Hey, what's got your attention over here? Something else, doesn't it? Again, I said let's look. But you can see, yeah, it's it's cloudy, but it's quite muggy as well. I'll try to think the thunderstorms we're gonna get when the sword breaks down. What do you do? Yeah, look at my Christmas tree is that's growing really, really well. So technically I have a Christmas tree up all year round, except it's growing out in the garden. See we say when we get to, when it gets to a certain size to, um, to chop it down and grow it in the gut and um, put it in the living room. But yeah, it's growing really well. You right Ben? Bouncy, 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 bouncy. <laughs> what are you doing? Can't wait till tomorrow. You get your new one up, wouldn't you? Hopefully. Yeah, I'd like to, like I said, I'd like to think this one's just going to fall off, fall, well, fall to pieces, I think. Well, guys, that brings Tuesday to a close, and yeah, well, what can I say about today? Yeah, still full of cold, guys. I am absolutely bunged up, as you can on my throat. <coughs> yeah, everything's just all up here. It's just horrible. <laughs> Trying to trying to breathe it's like just really it's horrible anyway guys yeah so this afternoon yeah Liverpool lost their pre-season friendly first match against Manchester United 4-0 yeah it was a massive changes every few minutes in in uh, that game I just don't understand how I give it give it up why you done it cause to give everyone a run out to get them going we'll see what happens in the next game on Friday against Crystal Palace and um Yeah, in the season of when they won the Premier League, COVID season, shall we say, that's when they actually won it. But, yeah, well, it doesn't mean a thing until the season starts. So, anyway, guys, yeah, thanks for joining us today. Yeah, we'll see you tomorrow for Wednesday. Bye, guys.